yeah, it feels pretty surreal to to be coming to the end of my three years here at Williams. It's absolutely flown by. Obviously, lots of emotions along the ways, uh, ups, uh, quite a few downs as well. But overall, it was some amazing memories. Looks so young. I remember when Claire announced me onto the stage, it was quite daunting yeah, walking out in front of 700 people and having to, to make a speech <laughs> to, to the factory for the first time. But definitely a very special day. It was always a pleasure to go up and see Frank, and it was always great speaking to him. You know, he was so warm hearted, such an amazing personality. Always lots of laughs along the way, but you could tell how competitive he was and that urge to win and be successful. You could tell straight away that that's why he's been so successful and it was you know, a real honour to be a part of his team. Australian Grand Prix 2019. I remember before the race, my uh, parents were there and my dad had a tear in his eye as obviously this was all of our dream together. Yeah, myself and my family have sort of worked so hard to, to reach that point, but it was yeah, a surreal moment knowing that I've ticked that box, that I'll have always been a Formula One driver. Uh, voice of Alex Albon, I will shout, George! Uh, George Russell, uh, how are you feeling? Four wins back to back. Really great, love that impression. This was obviously during lockdown 2020. It's such a bizarre time for, for everybody. But because of that, we, we did all of these esports races. And that was great because that competitive spirit came back out. I was probably almost more nervous doing a race here than I was in reality because it's so, it's a bit unnatural for us. We're not gamers, we're not esports racers. So you arrive and you've got a couple of laps in quality of a race and you're, you're feeling quite, quite tense and you're getting sweaty palms. And that was quite quite cool and I spoke with the other guys and, and they all felt the same. You know, everybody was nervous for these races um, because it was just slightly outside of our comfort zone. Champion in the end, yeah, as our first trophy together with William. So um, I didn't think we'd be getting a, a real one, uh, to be honest, but obviously we did as well, so got to keep believing. I've definitely enjoyed this much more than I uh, anticipated, to be honest. Imola 2020, that was a dark day. That was a day I learned how brutal a Formula One car is. When you've got a hundred, a um, thousand brake horsepower underneath your right foot, you're gone in a second and you can't even control it. I hit a bump just as I was accelerating and the car just went and within a second I'm in the wall. And I was in P10 at the time, we'd obviously not scored any points. But yeah, I was pretty mortified with myself. Felt like I massively let the whole team down. Um, without doubt, I grew as a person. I think in an ideal world, you want an easy path. You want things to come to you naturally. You know, I'm so passionate about racing. And that was probably... Um, one of the biggest mistakes I had personally made, ever. But it's made me stronger and more resilient. That was an amazing day. Such a sense of relief. We'd had so many times in the race, or even Austria, when we were inside the points and the car broke down. At some point you almost felt, is it? Is it going to happen? It just sort of hit, hit me in the post-race interviews. Just got really emotional, just from nowhere. You know, it meant so much to me. Yeah, Spa 2021. Crazy, 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 crazy. You know, prior to that, we'd only we'd been into Q3 twice, but still, we'd only been in the points once, and we truly qualified second on merit there, which is yeah, it gives me sort of goosebumps thinking thinking back to that. Yeah, that's the thing that I love the most, is when James 
opened his radio channel, I could hear all the mechanics screaming in the background. I, I mean, I knew it was a good lap, without doubt. You know, for sure, it was one of my best ever. It was all or nothing. You know, we had nothing to lose, and that's the, the feeling I had. This is one lap, we're in Q3. The worst that will happen is I qualified 10th. And it just, yeah, it was, it was magic. And it was, um, you know, that's something I will remember forever. You know, that lap and that feeling, it was you know, exceptional. I'd like to get to Formula One like most people. I would definitely look back with a huge amount of pride and the personal relationships I've built and those bonds, you know, when you go through so much together as, as a race team, all the people at the races, back at the factory, you know, you, you grow um, something special with these people and, you know, that will always be there for me.